the sixth and final song on the Pink Slip EP is a song called Who's Gonna Hold Ya? Um, and I actually wrote this song on the road um, in the back of the bus. I think we were in St. Louis. But Jordan Reynolds had come out that weekend to write with us. And it was one of the few times that I had actually written on the road. For this weekend, I really tried to set some, some time away. And we actually wrote this after the show, um, kind of get off stage and get off of this kind of high of being able to perform for you guys. And, um, just really had this energy of like, let's go write a song, let's write a, let's write a hit, you know? It's definitely, a, it's a interesting sonic bed of a song. It's something not like I've ever done it. It's almost islandy, um, and the steel in it kind of takes you from the south and country pedal steel, and it kind of brings you into the islands of Jamaica in a way. Um, but it's definitely a newer take on something that I've, I've never sounded like this before, and I think that's why I like it. It's not new for me to do something different. Like, that's the same. That's something you guys can expect from me, is always pushing my own boundaries and trying to, um, you know, reinvent the wheel and, and, and make something, uh, you know, great every single day. And so, the concept behind this song, I had this idea or this title in my phone uh, called Who's Gonna Hold Ya? And I didn't really grow up um, in a, super religious household. I didn't grow up really going to church. I'd go a couple times on Easter and Christmas, you know, but um, I didn't really know anything about the Bible. And um, I grew up in a household where my parents wanted me to make my own decisions spiritually and in, in, in any facet of life. And I'm thankful for that. But um, my wife, Leah, did grow up um, in a spiritual and in a religious household. And she does know the Bible like the back of her hand. And ever since I met my wife, I've really enjoyed getting to know the Bible um, and becoming more spiritual and just, you know, zooming out and thinking of bigger ideas. And so I was having a conversation with my wife's dad and um, we were just talking about purpose and, you know, how once everything else is stripped away, like who's gonna be there for you? And I just thought that was a really interesting love song. And, and so it's really like when all the lights are gone and all the money's faded away, and, you know, whenever you might be at the lowest point in your life, when you're not, you know, um, held up by, uh, you know, material things, like, who's going to be there for you? And it's, so it's really me talking to my wife and just saying, like, hey, I'll be there for you no matter what. You know, at the end of the day, you know it's going to be me who's going to hold you.